Hello there, my name's Chris Palmer. In today's local SEO tips video, what I want to share with you is a massive local SEO tip that will help you start your Google Entity Cloud Stacks off on the right foot. Now, in a past video, I was sharing with you that I went ahead and was able to rank for New York SEO expert utilizing a strategy, something I've concocted up called Google Entity Cloud Stacking. But with that said, it all had to stem from a particular type of Google Drive folders. Now, what we are utilizing is the older type that's allowing public folder types. Now, this is the tip, the local SEO tip that I want to give to you today is how you can start off like this so you can start your strategies off on the right foot. Now, I'm not saying that the old, the new types can't work. I'm just saying you're going to be in a much better space if you can follow the tips that I'm going to give you now and today. So again, I was able to get in here into the top position by utilizing an older style account. I also have other rankings for other stuff with the new accounts, so I know both works, but I still want to give you this tip today. Now, in order to go ahead and receive a brand new or older account, there's a couple ways that you can do this. One of the ways that I want to share with you for these local tips is one is you're looking for aged, okay, aged PVA gmail accounts and the reason is is because these could be the old style drives that are attached to the google account this way you're able to start off with an aged account that has public folder access so then you can start following the rest of today's tutorial in order to keep creating accounts so you can always keep starting off on a fresh good foot so that's one way to do it is go and buy an account that's already old and aged but let me tell you i've gone looking you know, stock is dwindling. So you might be able to find some providers that will give it to you and furnish these for you, but still they're, they are getting tougher to find. I'm not saying they're not out there because I've bought just a batch of them and I was able to pull some out. But with that being said, there's another way. Now I have had people within my groups, within my masterminds, within my consulting groups, you know, private consulting where they've gone out and purchased because it's, it is a time consuming process. It's effective, but it's time consuming to create entity stacks definitely cloud stacks but then when you combine them you're looking at a powerful but time consuming proposition so with that said I, I know you can go out and create or buy these for relatively cheap cost now it's not that i'm recommending any providers or anything like that or even that the service even is par but what i am saying though is hey for 10 bucks i could go buy an already foundation of something and if it's inside of an old account, it could be worth $5, all right? So $7 with the fee or wherever you go, Upwork or people by the hour or whatever. So that's two options for getting the accounts. Now, let's say you're in the best boat possible, the best local SEO boat possible, kind of like I have some accounts and let's just say that I'm inside the account that I'm currently using, all right? So I have an account here in which I've created and ranked that particular site. Now, I wanna point this out to you. If you take a look at new folders, okay? I pulled these over just to show this to you. If you take a look at the new folders, okay? So let's get the link. All right, so that one's public. Right click, get link, okay? Uh, public, wait, let me just find the right folder here. Get link, so these ones are public. Get link. Okay, and let me just double check here. Stick with me, stick with me. All right, here's what I'll do. I'll go to new and folder and pay close attention. I'm gonna walk you through this now. So as you can see here, I what I was pointing out here is you could see inside of here, if I get the link, see how this is public? Anyone on the internet can find and view, okay? So this is the folder type. If you take a look at some of the other new ones, what you will see is that they are actually, um, you know, they're not shared out on the web. They're not public like this. The actual folder types will not say public. Let me see if I can go ahead and share one with you. Here, let me show you another account so you can know the difference, okay? So if I come inside of here, we'll go inside my drive. Let me just show you the difference here, all right? So if I come in here and I right click and I go to share, okay? As you can see, anyone on the internet can view this link. Okay, so anyone on the internet it doesn't say public. It just says anyone on the internet can find and view the link if they have the link. Okay, 
So with that being said, I just want to point this out to you. With this particular strategy, we'll be able to now take a folder and any account like this. Let me share, share this with you so you can get off on the right foot here. All right. So what you're going to want to do is come inside of here. Okay. So we're going to come into this drive. All right. And what we want to do is we want to make sure we're inside of one that has the right access. So we're going to go to get link. All right. This is public. Great. We're going to right click. We're going to add a folder inside of here. So this is the SEO new folder type. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create this folder type and this folder type is under it inherits the same exact uh, capabilities as the other folders inside of here. So public anyone on the internet can find. Now what I need to do in order to give this to another account that doesn't have this capability is simply this. What we need to do is come inside of here and what we want to do is we want to click this button. Okay. It, it appears in public search. That's right. We want to share this. Okay. And what we need to do is anyone on the internet can find and view. So what we want to do is we want to change this to public. Okay. But more importantly, I want to share this with myself. So it's going to be Chris at Chris Palmer marketing. Okay. Dot com. Chris at Chris Palmer marketing. Okay. So this is the new folder type. What we're going to do is we're giving them editor access. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and send that. Okay. Now, more importantly, let's come in here and we're going to get the link. Okay. So this is public. Okay. And shared with Chris Palmer. So now when you come over to your other account, okay, let me go over to my other account, which doesn't have this access. This is a brand new account type. Okay. When I come inside of here to the drive, I can see now that if I go to shared with me, I have this folder here. Okay. So I'm going to right click. All right. And what I want to do is I want to right click this. And what I need to do is I need to, well, what I want to do is just bring this up and over here, bring this over here to my priority or into my drive. Now that I'm inside of my drive, I go to my new folder activity. Okay. And now it says New York SEO expert. And we have this. So I click on this and I can see here that it's Chris at Chris Palmer and Chris in this account, right? So I could see that I'm still connected here. So if I right click, um, let me just see here quick. Let's go in here change that. Now we have this particular account. We're going to go to done. Okay. And if you want to get rid of it, you just share it one more time. Okay. Like if you want to get rid of this fire file structure, all you have to do then is get, is get, share it out one more time. So what we can do is we can actually give this out to some, another person. So if say Chris Palmer, SEO at gmail.com. We'll go ahead and attach that and we'll send that over. Now, what this will allow me to do is remove the other people and still retain that public folder access. All right. So instead of it just being shareable on the web, like if you take a look at some of my other stuff here, I right click and I go to share. Okay. I can get the link. I can copy the link and I can change it. Right. I can change it to another way. But in order to get the public, I have to have a, an account that already contains it so I can pull it over and it'll just, it'll start taking on that same exact char characteristics. That's a hard one to say, but in any case, that's today's local SEO tip. I hope that it helps you. I hope that this has definitely helped out your entity stacks. I want you to set these up correctly from the very beginning. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any questions related to entity cloud stacks or Google stacking or just cloud stacking, or if you have any questions related to my brand new mastermind, please feel free to go ahead and ask in the section below. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next local SEO tips how to set up your Google Drive for Entity Stacks video. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.